you know, we've had uh, we've had a lot of tough luck at times and uh, lost a lot of tough games, and it's good to get this win. It's a Texas Tech team that uh, really scores the basketball. They scored 109 on us last time, and our kids did a good job defensively and cut it from 109 to, to 58. So the the game plan was was really good on on what we did, and uh, we've been uh, you know we've been talking to the kids about finding a different way to help us and. Thought Micah Dennis came in was very very solid for us tonight. Uh, Lauren Fields turned some pressure up on him defensively. Uh, Cassie Delap uh, didn't score much, but I thought uh, she really did a good job on Brewer and leaning on her and and being physical. Uh, Brewer had uh, 18 and a half and finished with 25. Um, you know, Jamie Asbury got us going in transition and got some nice passes to Clee with her running the floor. And uh, Vivian Gray struggled a little bit shooting the basketball, but I thought she really controlled the game at the end of the ball game. And we ran some side pick and roll, and and uh, she made some nice passes to Mack and and Clee lifted out of the corner. Mack has been sick all week long, uh, battling the flu and. Had eight at half and finished with 26. Thought she really came back and, and wanted to win. And this this young lady next to me was spectacular with career highs of 23 points and 13 rebounds. She was flying around all night long, uh, getting putbacks, offensive rebounds, getting her team uh, second chance opportunities. And she lifted out of the corner and hit some big shots when they tried to double team Vivian. And, We've been uh, really searching for some people to come up and be that third and fourth score, and Cleton really answered tonight, and, and uh, she's worked hard. And I, I watched her and shoot around today, and she just really, really shot it well, and that's why we put her in that backside corner to to lift out of there and get some shots. But really proud of what she did today. Coach, right now you're you're kind of on the fringe of the NCAA tournament from the projections I've seen. Have you used that as motivation for your team? We've just told our kids the dream's still alive. Uh, we've played a, a very difficult schedule. Uh, the last, I, I haven't looked since TCU, but our strength of schedule was like 11. And then uh, our RPI was in the mid 40s. But you know, you've got you to win, you got to get wins. And uh, uh, all we can do is control one at a time, you know, and, and the next one turns to Kansas. We had to get this one. We got to get the next one. We're not going to talk about that too much. It's just about playing as well as we could play and, and take one. I know it's a cliche, but that's what we have to do is just take one ball game at a time on it. And, and uh, even more so than that is one possession at a time defensively, one possession offensively. Uh, seven turnovers is really good for us. Uh, we out-rebounded them tonight. We've not only been looking for that uh, that uh, second or third score, we've been looking for that second rebounder, and that's what she did tonight was was really good. But you know, we're we're still alive, and we're gonna we're gonna keep playing and see what happens. You know, Clay Tong, uh, Texas Tech coach, uh, kind of described you as an aggressive rebounder, something they weren't really expecting. <laughs> Uh, what, what got into you tonight on, on rebounding? Uh, first off, I want to thank because uh, in the past game, we did not have a good result. So as a senior, I felt that I had a responsibility and I had to do my part because my team needed me to play well so everybody could have the support, like my teammate is playing well, so we all can do it. If if our senior is doing we all can do it. and. I also felt we we spoke two two days ago about how important it is for us to win. We need to win, no no matter how whatever it takes to win, we need to do it because we have a dream. First off, it's not to finish in the bottom in the Big Twelve, so and then it comes other stuff. But we needed to win this game. And how did you feel about your performance tonight? I felt 
I feel good. I, I'm very proud of my teammates first because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't make it at all. Uh, Jamie did a really good pass for me. I, when Jamie plays plays fast, I can play fast as well. So it helps me a lot the way she plays. And I try to give my best because I only have three more games in the regular season. So I'm trying to to just uh, make my coaches proud and myself proud as well. Do you feel like you've had this kind of game in you all along? It just something had to happen to bring it out of you. Mm, I felt like I had uh, some games, but I did not have those numbers. But I had some games uh, that I played very hard. Today was just that uh, my teammates really helped me doing it. And then, coach, you had like pinpoint something at the half. You're down by four, and then you outscore Texas by twenty in the second half. You had to pinpoint one specific thing. What was it in the second half that really put you over the top? Well. We did a better job on Brewer in the second half. Combination of of Cassidy and Mac holding her. She had 18 at half and she finished with 25. So we did a better job with that. Second thing is we turned the pressure up, and we didn't allow them to make the easy pass or the lob pass inside. That we made it more difficult for them to to throw the ball inside. And then we made some adjustments offensively on stuff that we really don't do and kind of drew some things up. And our kids really listened and paid attention and everybody was where they needed to be. And I thought some of the things that we made as halftime adjustments, the, the kids were very locked in and that helped us win the ball game. Um, Coach, can you kind of just explain what you told your team at halftime? What got them motivated? Well, we talked about it. I mean, we didn't panic. We've been every game we've been in is, for the most part, been close. And we just told them, "Here's what we got to do. Here's three or four things that we got to do: pressure the basketball and not let the pass be easy going inside the Brewer. We got to run when we have chances. We've got to limit them to one chance on on the boards. And and uh, we out rebounded them by seven. And we didn't turn the ball over. And and uh, people found a way to make plays. Clee made a lot of plays, and uh, Viv made plays that, that didn't result in points, you know, and we rely on her so much to score, but she had nine assists today, and Micah Dennis came in and was solid, and we, we expanded the lead, and I thought we played real smart at the end of the game about how we used the clock and took 20, 25 seconds off the clock every time. So. We gave them about three or four things at halftime, and, and I thought they really listened and were very coachable. Anything else? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Guys. Thank you.